a dream that I woke up in another world This morning I woke up feeling like fuck the world Said you wouldn't leave but you left like I expected I opened up out my pain now I regret it Why you leave me like that? Why you treat me like that? It's your boy Money Bad Time, Terrence Rose, whatever you want to call me. In today's video will be a story time. And without a title, as you can see, the story time will be how me and my whole family almost went to jail. So let's get right into that. Okay, so it all happened in hope. Uh, and don't mind my voice, I was yelling and got a little hoarse, but it all started in Hogan'sville. This, if y'all know what it is, it's a place in Georgia. Well, most of y'all live close by, so y'all should know. So. We was at the library one day, and like this a month before it actually went down, we was at the library one day. My brother had like this little bitty phone, like this big. And he didn't want it no more because it, it was embarrassing. And all I did, I wanted a phone so bad. Everybody in my class was sitting there, you know, picking on me for not having one. And so he ended up coming up with this grand plan to go to the store and steal him a phone. So me and him walked to the little local Walgreens. It was this phone called a, j yeah, a jitterbug. It was like this big. And he took it. And so he unwrapped it and everything. He went in the bathroom, took it out of the wrappers, put it in his pocket and stuff. We got away with it that day. We was good. He said, you ain't gonna tell him? I said, no. He said, bad. I promise I'll get you one too. And he, but until then he gave me that little bitty phone here. It was like $20. Called him my bread, it was at the dollar store. Oh my god. But next thing you know, so I had a big mouth. I go to school telling people, thinking it's gonna make me cool. It's like, oh, we stealing phone away. My brother stole phone away. He gave me this, and I'm about to get me that big phone next. And so everything was all, you know, peaches and green. And one of the boys in my class, he was finna move, but he he decided he was gonna do it with us. And so, but he ended up moving. So, fast forward to the day it's actually about to happen. We come up, wait, no, no, before that, my mom, like, my brother, and, like, if y'all wondering how did my mom not notice we, he was stealing stuff, because that wasn't the only thing he was stealing. He was taking on Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headphones. My mom was wondering where he was getting it, and he just kept saying, friend gave it to me. And I guess she just didn't have the time because she was busy to try to investigate it, so. Fast forward that day when it's actually about to go down. I told you, the boy he moved that was going to do it. I was in my class, so it was just me, my si both two of my sisters, me, my sister boyfriend, my little sister boyfriend, and my big brother. We all go, we all sit thinking it's going to be all right. So my sis one of my sisters, she was like, uh-uh, I'm not going to do it. And my other sister, she was talking all the good game like she was going to do it. We show up at the store, neither one of my sisters decided to do it. They go into the dollar store, right beside this store. And they just, they gonna go actually buy them stuff, they not gonna steal. So it was me, my brother, and my sister boyfriend. So we go in there, we thinking, we ready, we said, my sister boyfriend, he even got him a jacket with the little double-sided pocket, so they check in pocket, he got something on the inside. So we went in there, we don't see the phone that we coming for. So we, you know, Look, change it up a bit. Get to stealing Bluetooth speakers, stealing headphones, getting extra. He he getting extra. He trying to steal for his girlfriend, I guess, my sister. Whatever. He putting stuff for her in the inside of the pocket. Get him stuff on the outside. I got me a blue Bluetooth speaker. Um, some blue headphones, like my favorite color. Oh yeah, check out my sign I made. Right. Um, I got I got me a speaker and some headphones. <laughs> but. I'm thinking it's all finna be good. Tell me why this dumb freaking nigga. You dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? My sister boyfriend. Run to the back door. And you know that the, the back door, it automatically set off an alarm if y'all didn't know. It even says it. Like, can you read? You need to go to school, bitch. Can you read? It says it on the door. And he go that way anyway. And so... It automatically calling police. I got stuff in my pocket. The woman come up. I go up there to the woman. I go up to the first. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? She said, why are they trying to go to the back door? 
I hope they're not trying to steal nothing. I hope they ain't doing nothing. They don't got no business trying to sneak. I'm like, no, I'm not. She said, I know you wouldn't do nothing because, you know, I'm young. But I was down there scheming to, stealing to. Had stuff in my pocket while I was talking to her. And so she's like, the police going to come anyway. But as soon as we walk out the store, we, we they start taking the stuff out. We start taking the stuff out immediately. Like, that was dumb. People going, why is they taking stuff out of their pocket as soon as they get there? So, but we thinking we all good, we all good, that we will make it home before the police show up from the automatic, from the pushing door. Soon as we go to like, cause I told you the dollar store right here and this the um little Walgreens we still up from. Soon as we crossing into the dollar store parking lot, finna go up the street, cause we don't live that far. Freaky police pull up. Hold up. What? What's going on? Y'all are going to jail. Period. And Start panicking. I'm like, oh my god, come up with this plan that I thought was so smart. Grab the little, you know, grab the little speaker, Shh. scratch it up a little bit. Thank you. And then I get a little headphone, scratch them up a bit. Not too bad. I want them to still work. And so, police end up stopping us. It's like, hey, where you guys going? We got a report. Um, someone been stealing stuff. Someone's stealing. What's going on? Hey. And so. I'm like, oh my gosh, my mama's going to get me so bad. Well, am I going to go to jail? Please, no. And so, next thing you know, the police down there talking to all of us. He find the stuff on us. Like I told you, I scratched up my, I was like, see, I don't know of other people that was before I started stealing something. But look, mine's are scratched up. I found this on the concrete. I found all this stuff on the concrete scratched up. So I figured they threw it out since it was scratched because they didn't want it no more. It just doesn't add up. So I, got it. I didn't know. I'm thinking it's just a smart plan. But somehow they was slick behind it though. I ain't even going to count. But my brothers, them, they ain't had no way out. They ain't know what this. First thing we said when we seen them pulling up, do not tell on nobody. Guess what happened? Since the boyfriend start, he the one that got us into this, start singing like a bird. He start telling everything, come on, some man. Yes, we've been stealing. I got stuff on my ins. I got double potted jackets. I don't want to lie to you. Look, yes, we've been stealing stuff and bitch, all that. Nigga snitch, nigga ho, nigga bitch, nigga bitch, nigga snitch, nigga ho, nigga. And so at that point, it's a rap verse. They get us in the back of the car. Me, my brother, and daddy. I'm breaking down. I'm gonna get in trouble, will you? And my brother and then he, he looking like he ain't even breaking a sweat. My sister, because that one his friend wrote it. But my sisters, they in the back of police car, even though they was in a totally different store. They ain't stealing. They had their receipts. They paid for everything. And so we get to my house. My mom, my auntie, my mom's boyfriend, and my uncle, they sitting out there in the yard. They see the car pull up. I can see them. I can hear them, but I, I see them in their mouth. And they say, oh, well, it didn't happen. Got out of the car. They explained that whoop the whoop. Tell my mom basically folks been stealing stuff. I tried to talk. You know, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Even though I knew I was stealing too. We, but my mom was shutting me down. Shut that shit down. 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 Wait till we get in the house. And my sisters, though, they cleared up my sister name, though. They cleared up both of my sisters. I'm like, yeah, they paid for that stuff. They got their seat. Them greedy cops, though. They ain't giving them their food back. I'm Cause you know they took all the food that they bought, even though they bought it, even they seen their seat. They kept the food instead of the drinks and stuff. But we went swimming, and that's so all we get in the house. My mom asked what happened. She said, "I, I y'all knew y'all niggas went up no good. Y'all sent her, y'all sent her up there stealing at the store like y'all don't got y'all like y'all don't know no better." Okay. Have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you you went. You could, you do, you wit, you want, you, you could do so, you, you. I'm like, mama, no, please, mama, please. And I felt like I was going to be able to get my way out of this one because I was the youngest and I got, I got, um, you know, treated good. I got special treatment. And so, but unfortunately that wasn't going to happen this time. And so we get there. Oh, nigga, they know this. But we in the house. I'm thinking I'm going to get my way out of it. Then next thing you know. My brother sit there and break down so much. So, oh, yeah, my, my, my sister boyfriend got lucky because they thought he lived with us and dropped him off at our house. So his parents never knew. But my brother, he sit there and put on some crocodile tears, fake crying and just over so, mm, his tears. He was still, I just didn't tell on him. I, I was pretending like it was me. I wanted to take the rap because it's my little brother. I ain't wanted to get in trouble. 
me. I said, stop lying. He's lying on me. Because he know it. it was his plan from the beginning. He was the first person to text him. I start bringing up, why you think he got them headphones up on? Why you think he got it? That was his idea. Stop trying to lie on me. And so, they told me to shut up. But I'm still there. I, I, I'm just still there. I'm like, no, mom, please. I just keep trying to explain myself. Get me in the room. Tell you, you don't know how to be quiet. And you got you up there stealing. You out there trying to get your brother in it too? Yeah, get that belt. Hold on, let me show you all everybody down with me so I say mom but wait Leah oh, that's my sister my uh, sister that with the boyfriend I was like but she had a part in it too walking up there she was disgusting with us she was doing the big talking with us it was her idea too to steal some stuff she just didn't do it well no I didn't say that I was like she just probably steal some but she didn't get caught she was talking to you can ask Caitlin because I knew Caitlin tell the truth oh the sister so she was like my mom said, Caitlin, is that true? Is, was Leah talking about stealing too? Caitlin ain't lying, so she said, yes, she was. Leah said, stop trying to get me in jail, but ain't you lying to me, you ain't stealing nothing. My mom was like, oh, you might not have did, but you was the mastermind. You had the wrong intentions going up there. She get pulled in that room, surround two, she getting that. Bah, 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 bah. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get, bitch. She getting a whooping too, and so. It's all over with. It's not where just me and my little, where me and my sister, my little big sister. Cause um, she's older than me, but she's the second youngest after me. So me and her, the only ones that end up getting the whooping, and my brother, the one the mastermind, get out of it all. We end up going to the back porch, talk about it all. My sister Matt, and I was like, Leah, how you just gonna lie on me like that? And it was just over with past there. My mom, and then my mom was like, because I had some little dogs. Mm, Lord forgive me. But I wasn't taking care of them really once barely feeding them. My mom was like, you up there stealing some headphones. I ain't want you stealing, period. But if anything, you should have been getting some dog food. Should have been getting some stuff to take care of your dog. And so we, but anyway, we end up on the back porch after it's all over. Cause surprisingly, we didn't get grounded. We just got a whooping. Because my mom didn't want to look at us. You know them black moms be like this. I don't even want to look at you. Get out my face. So we all go in the back porch. We talking about it all. And so I'm mad still. But we all get over it. We we end up going to go talk and play. But yeah. Basically, that's the end of this story. Tell me what y'all think about it. And yes, tell me who do you think was in the wrong. Who do y'all think should have got it? Who I'm swimming. But yes, yeah, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Make sure if you enjoyed the video to give it a big thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to join the family, and hit the post notification. And I'll see y'all next week. Leave me like that, why you treat me like that? Send you for me, it don't be seeming like that. Had gang on his brain, they went and seen him about that. Pull up, drop the window, put the holes in his beam about that. I think they mad that they can't stop me. Yeah, you said you hate you love to watch me I told them take me to the moon But y'all get dropped off Seen us coming with your running when it pops